Welcome to the basic tutorial for the Canon T7. Uh, what's going to come in your kit when you check out the camera is the camera, the battery, the battery charger, a case, a instruction manual, and a lens cap. Uh, you always want to have the lens cap on when you're not using the camera. Seems kind of obvious, but I like to say it. And avoid touching the lens if you can to avoid getting smudges and if you do end up touching the lens you need to use a lens cloth to clean it don't use like a paper towel or your t-shirt when you are opening up the camera to put the battery in uh, make sure that the camera is turned off anytime you're opening up any of the compartments the camera should be in the off position the battery goes down here at the bottom you just Pull that open right there. And to know the direction to put the battery in, you just need to match up these connectors here with the connectors on the inside of the camera. You should never have to force the battery in. If, if you're putting it in the right way, it'll just snap into place. And then on the bottom here, you can see a little diagram that shows you the direction to put the SD card. And you should never have to force the card in, right? You just need to press on it lightly and you'll kind of hear it click into place. And you press on it lightly to pop it out as well. Okay, the camera won't work unless all the compartments are closed. So make sure that when you're ready to start filming that you have the compartments closed. Let's turn it on. The first time you use the camera, you may have to set the date and time. You can do that simply by using the joystick over here. Hit set to activate it and then just go up and down. Hit set to set it, set to activate it, and choose the date. Set, choose the date and the time, two o'clock. And then the location, we're on the West Coast, so find Los Angeles, there it is, and okay. Now we're ready to go. You can see by default it starts off in uh, automatic mode, scene intelligence, where the camera tries to guess everything for you. Uh, we pretty much in this class just use these four modes, manual mode, aperture priority, shutter priority, and program mode. I go over those in more detail in another video. But to start, I'll put it in aperture priority, and you will see that when you're in aperture priority mode, all you do is choose the aperture, and the camera will adjust the ISO and the shutter speed for you to correct for exposure. To change your f-stop, you just need to adjust the exposure dial here. So I'm just scrolling on that and you can see I'm stopping down on the lens here. And if I want to open up, I'm just going to scroll the other way. And there you go. Okay. If I wanted to change the ISO, I could. Here's the button there for that. And then I can choose my ISO. If I leave it on auto, the camera will choose it for me. Right, this button right here toggles between looking through the viewfinder and looking through the LCD. Display will, every time you click display, it adds more information or takes it away. So if you want your display to have nothing on it, just toggle, click on this display button, and each time you click, more information will pop up. There's our histogram. And um, if you want to look through the viewfinder, which I prefer, you just click back to that and you get all of your exposure data and all of this here. And then you look through your viewfinder to frame your shot. You have your shutter release here to take your picture. There you go. And you can hear there, there was a little bit of a delay. That's because right now the camera is set to autofocus. 
right? And so when I press down lightly, it's focusing, and I press again, it takes the picture. I prefer manual. Just slide that lever right on the front of your lens here. And then once I'm in manual mode at the end here of my lens, this is my focus. Okay, I'm gonna look through the lens and focus my shot. Once I'm happy with it, I'll take a picture. To zoom in or zoom out, you just adjust the barrel of the lens here. 55 is the max focal length on this kit lens. And if I wanna zoom out to a wider angle, I'll go to 18 millimeter. Zoom in, zoom out. At the end is focus. Unless you're in auto focus and you're gonna focus using a slight press of the shutter release. A hard press will take the shot. Okay, if we want to review our shots, we can just look right on the back here and click on this review button here and toggle between your shots to look at the images on your card. And again, if you want the display information, just hit display. If you wanna look at your shots without this information here, the more times you toggle through this display, it will add or take away your display information. If you have a shot in here that you don't like, you can just hit the delete button and the delete button just it has a little trash can on it right there. It'll ask you, do you want to erase it? By default, it kind of protects you on cancel, so you have to toggle over and select erase and then hit set to actually erase it. And if you do it this way, you have to go one by one to erase your images, right? Uh, which is a bit tedious. So let's say you just want to clear the entire card. You don't want to have to go one by one. You can reformat the card by clicking on this menu button here. And then you just need to toggle through and you'll toggle all the way over to erase images right here. It's the first blue one, I should say. And all images on card and okay. And there you go. Now you have cleared the card. When you are done taking pictures, always remember to turn the camera off. It will power down. Find your lens cap. Protect the lens. To put the lens cap on, you just squeeze on these two little levers and it will fit right in there just right. And keep the camera in the bag. If you need to charge your battery for the next time, just release the battery there, close that up, and put it into the charger. You can see there are the connections right there. Slide that in and plug this into the wall. When it's finished charging, the full light will come on. Place everything in the bag. Got your manual in here, should you have any questions. And you're on your way. Have fun.